Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? In this video, I'm gonna explain the five ways that you can get really blasted as you want. You know, like if you have the nice little budget, if it's your birthday or if it's a nice little special occasion, you know, like 420 or 710, you know, if you wanna save this video for later for that. You know, like this is like my personal five ways of how I really get blasted, even with a high tolerance. You know, whether you have a high tolerance or a low tolerance, this would be for you, you know, like no matter what, this would work. So get your pens and pencils out. And if you're indulging on something, keep indulging on that throughout this video because you will see. All right, let's get straight into it. The first, the most obvious, we all know brainer mode is like eat a lot of edibles, man. Like, you know, like it doesn't have to be a lot of brownies, you know, it, just find the easiest way to really like to consume like gummies, tinctures, you know, maybe like some RSO pills. If you live in a legal, legal, legal state, if you live in California or Colorado, this would be like a lot easier to really access and kind of a lot easier to really personalize. Like, all right, but like, which one, like, which one do you like to consume more? You know, like edible wise, you know, cause not everybody likes gummies. Not everybody likes to sit down and eat brownies all day. Not a lot of people want to eat like a, a cookie or something cause they might be allergic to something or whatever. You might have a couple of food allergies, you know, that you, I might not know of or that a person that you're trying to get that they don't know of either, you know? So you really want to be cautious as well for that part as well. And it's just a no brainer. Just eat a lot of edibles, figure out like how many milligrams really gets you blasted. Like, <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of like scary at the same time. Cause if you eat, cause if you eat way, way too much, like out of your limit, like obviously, you know, you wouldn't want to do that or none of us wouldn't want to do that unless you're really in the mood for that. You know, this is like a no brainer. Figure out what is your limit and then maybe exceed that a little bit, you know, and then trying to cancel the rest of your night off, you know, or the next day as well, just in case if you do still feel blasted the next day, because that happens very, very rarely for me. The only like time that ever happened for me, like very recently, is when I flew to Mexico. And when I flew to Mexico, I really got like so blasted. Cause like, um, if you guys haven't seen it, I'm gonna do a another video on it. It was like a gummy rope where like you get it on Delta Munchies, and I'm thinking, all right, this thing ain't gonna get me high, you know? I ate half of that shit, and I was blasted. I would honestly slay for almost 24 hours. You know, like, psh, damn near 24 hours. Because when I first flown into Mexico, I was just nervous. I didn't know where the fuck to go. And, you know, like, I still, like, my head felt still very light no matter how much I slept. So when I first got to my Airbnb, I literally just slept the entire day. Like, even during the day, because I work overnight normally because I sleep during the day. So it kind of makes sense at that point for me to, like, take a fat-ass nap from like 12 12 o'clock mexico time yeah i remember now it was like around 12 1 and i woke up when it was dark and i had a lot of missed calls and shit you know people were kind of worried and shit but I, it was it, it was really a good time let's just say that but that's the first no-brainer just eat a lot of edibles you know like you just figure out like i mean but don't eat a lot to the point where you feel full because you might throw up because that's from my personal experience so try to find like gummies or, you know, tinctures, like figure out what works best for you. Now the second no brainer of tip for the, you know, getting really medicated, just take at least a 0.3 dab. This is for my dabbers out there. Like take a fag globber. Cause I would say for me, even with a high tolerance, if I take a 0.3 dab, I, my, I get a different, like whole different head change. Like, I just get, I automatically get very big to the point where I just don't want to do shit the rest of the night. And I just sit in my, on my, you know, in my bed or my chair and just immediately knock the fuck out. Like, it's just a no brainer. Like if you have access to a dab and, uh, you know, an e-nail or e-rig, you know, whatever it is, cause that's personally my favorite way. Or if you have a really good chamber and you know, you know how to heat it up right. And, you know, if you take care of it, you know, if you take care of your bangers and stuff, because I was kind of horrible at it. That's why I ended up getting an e-nail and an e-rig. You know, I'm going to get something better later on as I save up more money. But, like, it, that take at least, like, a point three, you know? Because you know, even with the person that doesn't have too much experience, you'll understand, all right, bet, like, I'm going to really get blasted no matter what. 
And when you get really blasted off of dabs, it's like, all right, it's not really too much like as crazy as edibles, but it's, I mean, I would say dabs are close to an edible high for me. Depends if I like take a half a gram or a gram dab. It's close to my, you know, for me, but it's just, you just feel very more blasted, but it's just a second no brainer tip. It's just take a 0.3 dab. You know, like if you have access to it, you know, if you don't, then you can just skip this part. Third obvious tip is, you know, if you have access to alcohol or if you're over 21, get crossfaded. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really drink a lot, right? You know, anymore because I'm trying to, you know, hit the gym more and really be healthy. So I'm trying to keep my drinking like very limited, you know, like if you literally like to drink, I'd say try to limit it to once a week, you know, or once every couple of weeks, you know, like if you, you know, just go to a bar or some shit, I would say definitely every couple of weeks. But if you just get liquor, you know, and have a bottle, I'd say keep it like once, twice a week, maybe maximum because alcohol isn't really too good for your body. But, you know, very occasionally you're going to want to use it to try to get extremely faded, you know, like because when you're cross faded, alcohol, it kind of changes your receptors a little bit, you know, to where you get a little bit more blasted off of weed a little bit easier, you know, like whatever you're whether you're smoking whether you're eating an edible or whatever but you know alcohol kind of, i mean at least for me you know it kind of just makes me more vulnerable to it because it's like i mean unless it's liquor definitely but if it's beer a little bit you know if i had a cider i mean or like whatever else kind of beer i wanted it won't really help too much but mainly liquor you know that's why i say try to limit it to like once a week you know once a week you know once every couple weeks max i would say like, or do whatever you want. But that's just my personal opinion. That's just my personal advice. You know, if you don't want to do it, cool. You don't, you don't have to do it. You didn't get skip this part yet again. But yeah, that's just the obvious tip. Just get crossfaded, have a little good time. The fourth one, I kind of personally experimented myself over the years. Mix it around a little bit, mix up your methods. Like I would say maybe have an edible, you know, with your joint, you know, that way it can help you get a little bit more blasted, you know, or, you know, have a dab and a bong rip at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like this is all if you can afford to. And like, and if you only have that, you know, space of time to do it, because with a high tolerance, you got to like take a lot of time to smoke a lot. So, you know, if I don't have that much time, in my opinion, and I really want to get blasted within like 30 minutes definitely definitely like i try to mix up the first two tips i just mentioned you know like take a fat ass dab along with like a fat ass bowl next to it and then just take a fat ass bong rip you know along with that and then have a blunt ready and you know just smoke a blunt i'd feel honestly like extremely more blasted you know like yeah you don't want to do this way too often you know because then none of the methods would really kind of make you feel blasted with doing it by itself. So you kind of only want to do this, like I said, with the alcohol tip, like kind of like once a week, twice a week maximum, you know, like I try to kind of make up my mind on whatever method I try to do that day. You know, if I'm only hitting dabs, I'm trying to only hit dabs like half the day and have a blunt before I go to bed, you know, like whatever I decide to do, because that way it'll help me stretch my stashes a little bit. And I still get really high if I, whenever I, um feel like you know that day i'm like you know what? i have a day off i ain't doing shit too much i'll just get really blasted you know that's just kind of my personal method that that's kind of my first like favorite one you know like just mixing it around a little bit i'll have an edible mixture with a dab and then smoke a couple blunts and then i'll be going to bed within a couple hours you know and, and, and more sleep for me is better because i work overnight shifts so I mean, that's the size of the point, but that's the main like tip. Just do that. I'll just do what makes it up. You know, if you, you could, if you can afford to, if you can't, that's all right. Now the last one, fat ass bong rips. Like, I, it, you know, bong rips definitely help you stretch your stash. You know, even if like I'll pack like a, to the brim, not all the way to the brim, but like I would say the quarter of the way there. I would say like a bunch of that, obviously, it's the most obvious one is just fat ass bong rips. But if you have like a pipe, I wouldn't recommend this. If you have like a gravity bong, nah, not really. I wouldn't recommend it too much unless you have one of those like spinning ones. Even those, I mean, I tried those a few times. They're all right. 
you know, I, don't, I personally wouldn't buy it myself, but I mean, they're, they're all right to use on occasion if you're like with around a lot of friends and you're trying to get through like a half ounce real quick, but that's very rare, you know, because we're not that rich. But that's just my like my last one and my favorite, like compared to like mixing it up. Cause it like bong rip save me time sometimes as well. Like if I really don't have time to really like roll a blunt, bong rips like the fat fat ones. All I need is just at least three of them, and I get a nice little head change. And you know if it's really fire weed, you know if it's not good weed, I'm just rolling it up. That's just how I go about it. I either roll it up or I just make edibles with it. You know that's just my my go to nowadays. Like you no, know, I mean it ain't it ain't worth it anymore. You know like. I'd rather just use the high quality. Like I'm not talking about high quality, like $55, $60 ace, $70 ace. You know, that's too much money because it's not too much of a difference between a $30, $40 ace, you know, because I'm from my personal smoking experience, you know, like I just, you know, try to really budget my money right by getting the best shit at a good deal, you know, like getting an ounce of like, close to 200 bucks, but at least it's good, good weed, you know? And it's almost, it looks almost the same way as if, close to the same way as if I get it for 50, $60 Ace, shit like that. You know, that's just my personal favorites. It's just, you know, fat ass bong rips. That's just the easiest way I'd say, you know, to try to really get really blasted throughout all these tips. All right, those were just my quick tips and me, you know, talking to you guys, you know, I'm back at it. We're here, you know, I'm not leaving you guys. You know, we're going to keep on on this channel. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really want to, just keep watching. You know, like, I'm going to keep recording. You know, like, it's just, I work a lot. But trust me, this I'm going to work overtime this week. You know, cause, like, because I kind of consider this overtime. Because, I mean, usually I'm chilling, I'm resting, trying to catch up on sleep for work. But I'm going to just keep going which for you guys. Because, you know, I want to grow a community on here more than just we community, whatever, you know, like, <clears throat> because there's going to be a bunch of other videos that I'm going to do eventually, like workout videos, I'm using my back to my guitar shit. We're going to keep going on this channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tip video and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.